and Bag, written by Katie Hippie. There once was a book named Bob. Bob lived on a bookshelf with many other books. They all lived happily together in a house with a human named Ella. Hi, I'm Bob. Each year in December, Ella would go through her closet and donate the toys she no longer played with. She also donated the clothes that didn't fit anymore. This year, her family was going to give away food items, too. Ella and her family went out of town for the holidays. Because of the hustle and bustle, they forgot to donate her box of stuff to the shelter house. Oh, no! Who's going to deliver these things before Christmas, said Bob, as he stood on top of the -the full-to-the-brim box. Then Bob had an idea. I'll take this problem to the book council, he said to himself. So Bob told the other books on the shelf of the dilemma. Well, I can't take the stuff to the shelter house. That's just too long of a walk, said one book. We're all supposed to decorate the Christmas tree tonight, said another book. Sorry, we can't help, they all said. Well, I can make the trek on my own. It's Christmas Eve, and I think the children will really enjoy these gifts, even though they're used. They're still beautiful. They might be hungry and need some food too, said Bob. Sorry, we can't help. Then a wonderful thing happened. Bible the book and Spinny the spider volunteered to help. If there's a will, there's a way. Let's go, Bible said with excitement. So Bob, Bible, and Spinny gathered Ella's old toys, clothes, and put them in a bag with the food. They smiled with anticipation as they began their journey to the shelter house. Let's go. We can help. Soon it became dark. The snow continued to fall on them. Some of it stuck to their faces. Are we almost there? asked Spinny. Almost, said Bob. The bag of goods began to feel heavy. Maybe we should rest for a bit, suggested Bob. Yes, I'm feeling somewhat tired, said Spinny, as she sat down. We can't stop now. We're so close, said Bible. Just as they began to feel discouraged, they heard a familiar voice. Where are you headed? Are we there? Almost. They looked up and saw their friend, a handsome horse named Henson. Henson, we are so glad to see you. We're going to the shelter house to donate these things, they said. Let me help you. I can give you a ride on my back. You'll get there quicker, said Henson. Where are you headed? Wow, thanks for the lift, said Bob, Bible, and Spinny as they jumped onto Henson the horse. This reminds me of a song. Let's all sing along, said Bob. Giddy up horse, giddy up horse, going along, singing a song. The chimes and the bells make us feel well. It's Christmas tonight, so bright. I see a star up high so far. Lord above, Lord of love. A bag full of toys, good girls and boys. Tonight, so bright. Snow as we go, snow as we go. All the way there. Henson stopped. They were at the church. Bob, Bible, and Spinny took their colorful bag, placed it on the front steps of the shelter house, and knocked on the door. An old woman and a few children came outside and saw the bag of gifts. They smiled and looked with amazement at the scene. Bob, Bible, and Spinny waved and smiled back. Merry Christmas, they said. The elderly woman took the bag with gratitude. Thank you. Merry Christmas, said the children. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I think it's time to go back. The snow is really coming down now, said Bob. Bible Spinny and Henson agreed. 
They began singing again as they made their way back home. Crunch of the snow along as we go. The wind's at our back to get us home past. I feel awake among the snowflakes. It's Christmas tonight so bright. Snow as we go, snow as we go. All the way home A single tree is what I see We'll decorate and celebrate The chimes and the bells make us feel well Tonight, so bright It's Christmas, it's Christmas It's Christmas, it's Christmas, it's Christmas it's Christmas, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Oh look, the box is empty. I'm so glad someone donated my stuff to those in need. Giving to others feels so good. The end. Good night. The very end.